I have a 55 inch 4K LCD TV at home paired with an LG soundbar which is a typical home setup and more than enough for my daily entertainment needs. It's got great brightness and colors and the soundbar can easily irritate my neighbors whenever I feel inconsiderate. But when Xiaomi sent their 4 movie mini dice projector, which is basically a smart projector that comes with built in speakers, after using it for a couple of weeks, I never thought that a projector would justify its price tag even if it nearly cost a decent 4K TV. To all the subscribers, welcome back and thanks for stopping by once again and if you're new here, we make tech videos of all kinds so feel free to drop a sub to get notified of new content. You probably never heard of 4Movie, but to give you a quick background, 4Movie was founded in 2016 by Xiaomi and laser display industry leader Apotronics. Though the company is already 5 years old, it's only this January they started marketing their products globally. In fact, the 4Movie Dice Projector was crowdfunded in Taiwan and is now selling in other parts of the world including the Philippines. That said, let's check the design of the 4Movie Dice. Though the dice may seem bulky at first, it's actually compact in person. It only comes in this mineral grey color that blends nicely with a leather leg strap. The dice is relatively heavy at 2.2 kilograms, but that's understandable given that it has a couple of 10 watts full range speakers with Dolby Audio and DTS HD support. I do have to say that the manual included in the box is not in English, but I managed to read the instructions by using Google Translate. However, you can skip all that hassle as I will show you the parts of the dice and how the remote works. Up front is the projector lens beside this small hole, which is the autofocus lens. The top houses the power button and an LED indicator in the rubber strip. A single press will turn on a device together with LED flashing white, indicating that it's loading, and an orange LED will indicate that the battery is low. LED off means the dice is in use or off. You can long press the power button to turn off the dice if you don't have the remote with you. Speaking of the remote, it automatically connects to the dice through Bluetooth and supports voice commands through Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa since the remote itself has a microphone. Starting from the top, you have the power button, Google's assistant button, your D-pad and OK buttons. From the left is the app list, back and home buttons. Lastly is the volume buttons. The remote runs on two AAA batteries that you need to purchase separately. Going back to the dice, the back houses a DC in for power, a headphone jack, a USB 2.0 port that you can use to run off media files, and an HDMI 2.0B if you want to connect your desktop or console for a large screen gaming experience. At the bottom, you have four rubber feet and a screw hole that connects to a tripod or something depending on what you need it for. The dice has a fan inside that intakes from the sides and blows it out to the back, so the projector does emit a spinning fan sound that's only noticeable when you're close to it. Ok, now we can talk about the viewing experience itself. It comes with basic apps like YouTube and supports Prime Video and Apple TV via the Play Store. However, it doesn't support Netflix, so you need to do some searching on the internet on how to install Netflix here. But lucky for you, I have found an easy workaround, which you can check in the description below. The OS isn't the fastest, but if you give it time to load, it's fluid enough to be not frustrating. It has 16GB of built-in storage for apps and games, but the usable part is only 11GB. This could be a deal breaker for those who plan to install a lot of games here as the dice does support an external controller. Just don't expect high-end Android games to play very well as there's only a quad-core CPU with Mali 450MP3 GPU here. Now, the dice outputs a native resolution of 1080p with 700 ANSI lumens. It's not the brightest during the day and you also need to turn off any reflecting light source to achieve an acceptable viewing quality, but at night, it's more than enough. The picture size of the dice can be as small as 40 inches diagonal or up to 200 inches, which we were only able to test outside, on the wall of our neighbor, but the recommended picture size for the optimal picture quality is between 60 to 120 inches. Our wall inside is roughly 120 and I have no complaints regarding the color and sharpness of videos. It's obviously not as colorful and as bright as standard TVs, but it's the cinematic experience that you're paying here for. There's a 4 point keystone here that automatically adjusts as soon as you turn on the dice. It's great when it works, but most of the time you need to do some minor tweaks for the best orientation. However, autofocus works 8 out of 10 times, so that's a really helpful feature. The keystone and autofocus correction kicks in as soon as the dice is moved from its place. It may seem a convenient feature to have, especially if you have kids running around, 
but it works like 50% of the time. Though the projector is only capable of 1080p, the video playback supports goes up to 4K at 60 with HDR10 support. You can't go above 60Hz, so take note of that if you intend to connect your PC or console. The speakers are pretty amazing, especially for a body of this size. I barely make it over to 50% when watching in the living room, and we have a spacious living room so that's saying a lot. The speakers are not only loud, but they also give that cinematic-like experience, but with clearer dialogues. Locked on. I've just lost history. The biggest treasure that's never been found. Oh, there is Chromecast built in already, so you can cast the screen of your device or control certain apps like YouTube using your phone, and the lifespan of the projector is more than 30,000 hours or roughly 3.4 years of operation. There's also a built in 16,400 mAh battery supporting the dice of unplugged operation for about 3 hours which is attainable if you use the projector in echo mode, basically low brightness setting. But in bright mode, you're looking at a little less than 2 hours. So how much does the 4 movie mini dice cost? In Malaysia, it costs 2899 via Lazada. In the Philippines, it has a suggested real price of 28890 pesos. But if you wait for one day sale on November 11, it'll retail for only 26990 pesos. The 4 movie mini dies is quite expensive, however, I think it's worth it if you don't want to go through the hassle of setting up a home theater and if you're really into the portable home cinema experience. You also don't have to pair a soundbar with this one since the speakers here are already good. I would even say it's right in line with the soundbars out there that cost below 10,000. If you're interested, all the links are in the description below. So that's it for this one, drop a sub or a like if you feel supporting the channel, and until the next one. Stay safe.